Hello from Bali, Indonesia, where I've been hanging out in this resort for the past week, guys. It's very nice. This is the swimming pool area right here. It's lovely, isn't it? I've been hanging out here for a week, but today I'm finally going to get out and do a bit of exploring. I'm going to hire a motorbike and do some adventuring. But first, I'll give you guys a quick tour of where I have been staying. I've actually been spending more time in here in the gym than I have at the pool. There's always nobody here. It's very small, but I get it all to myself, don't I? So that's fantastic. Unlike the pool that's usually packed, usually if you want to do a bit of swimming, you're going to have an audience. You know, people all circled around it. But this resort is very nice. Uh, it's very like quiet grounds and there's like a temple there. I think there's like a yoga area and stuff. Uh, maybe that's through there. I don't know. I don't do yoga, so I don't go to the temples either. But uh, I know that it does have all that kind of stuff here. There's a spa and everything. Although I've been going outside for my massages because they're like less than half the price. But uh, yeah, it's all decorated like classic old Balinese templish style. You know, the wall made of bamboo and all that. The, are these Balinese hats? I don't know, they look like farmer's hats to me. That's the spa in there. It's apparently um, on TripAdvisor the best spa in this area, which is Nusa Dua. That's the name of the area that I'm staying at, at the very south of the island. Anyway, I'll take you guys up the lift and show you my room. And here is my junior suite. Yes, guys, it's a junior suite. I decided to book that rather than the ordinary room for two reasons. One, this was only $60 a night. 60 bucks for this. Incredible. And the second reason was the ordinary rooms, they don't have any kind of desk for me to set up my laptop. So that was a real difficulty for me when I was looking for hotels in Bali is none of them have working desks because obviously it's like a tourist vacation resort. It was just always these little like uh, side bits uh, with a wooden chair, which isn't good when you're going to be staying somewhere for like one, two, three weeks. You want to be setting up your mobile office. So that's my office right there. It's not that great because it's a round table. So you're losing a bit of, you know, desk real estate there. But um, it's doing the job, it's doing the job. And fortunately I brought this with me, the extension cord that's come in handy because yeah, otherwise I'd have to try and stretch my laptop um, charging cable over there. Got the mini bar there. Your man's, in fact, I'll take one right now. Can't resist. Your man can't resist. I'm gonna go out on that balcony. Yes, I've got a nice balcony. I'm gonna show you and it's right out there with the uh, sofa and stuff. I'll show you that guys after we check out the room, which is a little bit messy. I've at least made the bed. Usually I like to do these room tours when I check in, but when I checked in, I wasn't even planning on making a video here or do doing anything in Bali really, except just relaxing and working. Uh, but yeah, today I've decided I'm going out exploring. So I'm making this video. This is the nice big bed and it's a big open bathroom. As you can see, there's a nice big bathtub. Look at the size of that. And it comes with bath salts as well. Look at this, you get a wee uh, saucer. What do you call that? A wee box of bath salts and foam. And it's like this, the big open bathroom. I think if you want privacy, there's that, there it is. There's a curtain that you can like pull across. But it doesn't go all the way, it's like, it, it, you can get it to like there, but I guess if you were traveling like a family or something, like maybe the mum and dad sleeps on this bed and the child or children, you'd probably get multiple children on this thing. It's not really a bed, but it's a nice big comfy sofa. So you probably could stay here as a family, although like I said, privacy issues. You don't want to be watching your mum take a shower or or worse, take a dump. Sitting there taking a dump while you have to bloody watch her. Um, yeah, the balcony. The balcony is very nice. I don't have much of a view. When I checked in, the guy says, congratulations, we're giving you the best view, the ocean view. 
but when I checked into the room, it's actually on the other side. The ocean's on, on that side. I'm just getting a view of the local area. Check out the rooftops. Guys, and that's where the swimming pool is. That was that temple I showed you. So that's where I started off this video. And there's like more temples there. Just temples everywhere in the grounds of this resort. But uh, yeah, so I've got a wee place where I can sit and eat my food. Ordered Domino's pizza last night and sat and ate it there. That was lovely. And then I've got the another cushiony bit here for, for lying and chilling and having a wee Oh, can of Coke Z. Lovely, guys. Ah, nice and refreshing. Anyway, it's like 11.30 just now. I'm going to try and hire a motorbike. There's multiple places on the street that hire motorbikes, and most of them have decent reviews on Google Maps. You know, the Google reviews. So, probably not going to get ripped off. That's something you want to make sure of when you hire motorbikes is that you choose one that's reputable, has good reviews because, you know, there are some shady ones out there. They'll say a scratch that was already there on the bike, they'll say that you did it and then all this kind of stuff. Try and uh, keep your deposit or keep your passport. Sometimes they ask for your passport. I try and avoid that. If they ask for my passport, I usually just say no, like I'll, I'll leave money instead. So. We'll see, there's one that's rated highly just down the street here, so I'm going to go out and speak to them. What tell us? It's 11.50. We're leaving it late. Most of the places I want to go are like an hour and a half drive away and close at like 4pm, so yeah, let's get out right now. So this is the street that I'm staying on, guys. This is the main street here in Nusa Dua, and there's lots of things like this abandoned businesses, you know, that probably shut down during the corona period that haven't opened back up. There's a bunch of stuff like that. Like that looks like it was under construction, like a new resort, and then they've just stopped. And it's just kind of lying derelict there. A bunch of things like that. But yeah, this street, it's mostly spas. There's one right there. There's probably at least a hundred spas where you can get a massage for like 90,000 rupiah for an hour, which is like six bucks. So six dollars, you got a one hour massage. Uh, lots of restaurants and lots of hotels. So the hotels that are on this side of the strip, they have direct access to the beach. My hotel doesn't, it's, it's on that side. But yeah, all the way up and down the street, it's like restaurants, spas, hotels, little shops as well. And then you've got plenty of these buildings that are just kind of lying derelict that probably were businesses before the the whole lockdown period, you know? I would say like, uh, maybe like 30%, 30% of businesses here seem to be permanently shut down. And yeah, I'm just walking down the street towards where I can pick up a motorbike. It's just as well, guys. But I'm not superstitious. I'm not superstitious. I'll walk under a ladder all day. No problem for your man. Okay. Everyone getting around on scooters. Your man's got to get himself one. The legs are strong, but they're not going to take me all the way up to Ubud, which is where I want to go to today. It's like an hour and a half by motorbike from where I am. So that's what I need to get, guys. That's what I need to get. Another closed, abandoned business here. These newspapers have 2020 written on them, so that's probably when this shut down, when the lockdowns happened and it's never reopened. You can see they're selling stuff for the tourists. It's all stuff for the beach, floaty things, and that type of stuff. So, yeah, they would have lost 100% of their customer base when they were forced to lock down by their government. It's very unfortunate. Two years, I think it was, two full years, no international tourists were coming here. So, yeah, if you had the type of business that relies on international tourists, you were screwed. Domestic tourists were still coming, apparently, for like the last year or so, but, you know, it's the international tourists who are spending the money, isn't it? Spending uh, on unnecessary, unnecessary things like floating dolphins and stuff like that. So, yeah. 
unfortunate to see, isn't it? So according to Google Maps, this is the place where I should be getting my motorbike, but that also looks to be shut down. <coughs> Unless it's in here, it says A-F-E-R. Is this A-F-E-R? Yes. Afer. Ah, okay, I want to hire a motorbike. Motorbike? Yes. Scooter, like 125cc. 125cc. Yeah. Honda. What moment, yeah? Ah, uh, okay, you have? Uh, Maybe. We call uh, hotel, finish or not. Maybe sometime uh, uh, get the rent, extend the bike like that. I will call the hotel, finish or not. Ah, uh, someone has in the hotel? Yeah. You will see, oh, okay. I'm so sorry, sir. No motorbike? No yeah. motorbike today. Ah, okay. Another place I can get Another one? Another place you can go to uh, South. You can see the board like the rent bike like that. You can. Uh, but I don't know which one's good. Maybe one or tricky, you know? Uh, All are good or any tricky ones? For the scooter, normally there's 80 for the scooter. 80 uh, for one day? Yeah. For one. Yeah. The bigger, the 150. Like that. 150, uh, but the 125cc are normally 80. Yeah. Uh, if you want, okay. I will uh, go into my friend. Uh, your friend? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can ask your friend. Okay. So they don't have any available, but he's going to ask his friend and see. In fact, I think he's going to he's going to go see his friend. I thought he was going to call him. He's actually going to take a trip down the road to see his friend who has another business. But he maybe gave me one because yeah, I was a bit worried about just going to any random one because you don't know if they're tricky or not. You know, I chose this one because it had good reviews on Google reviews. But um, yeah, hopefully his friend can sort me out. Yeah. yeah. What is your name, brother? I'm Gede. Gede? Yes. Gede, mate. <laughs> okay. Oh, you vlog? Yeah, vlog. Thumbs up. Oh, it's up. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, good. <Hello. laughs> you go to He's... Bali only you? Or? Yeah, only me oh. and my camera. Look, I brought all my friends. They're, they're joining me. Oh. Yeah? yeah. It's good. it's good. It's a good way to do it. You're living here in Bali? Yes. You're from Bali or yes, from another I'm place? From Bali. You're from Bali. Ah, okay. Then this your business or your friend's business? Uh, this is my boss. I'm only work here. Ah, your employee and this is the boss man? Yeah, boss man in the, in the home. Maybe in the Taman Griyo. Ah, okay. So, he's renting motorbikes and also cars? What is he renting? Bikes, cars? Yeah. Only bike now. Only bikes? Yeah. Ah, okay, but today no bikes left. Yeah, now the only two. Oh, these are all your bikes here? Yeah. You have 17? Yeah. 17 bikes and they're all finished? Yes. Ah, okay. Hopefully your boss friend can sort me out. Yeah, hopefully yeah. They, they have one. So they only have 17 bikes, but he was saying before Corona, how many bikes did you have? Oh, 35. 35, so yeah. they had 35, so they're at 50% capacity now. Because yeah. less people are coming, right? Yes. Ah, uh, okay, because so... I have the car, five cars. Now I don't have the car. Oh, you had car, you had yeah. five cars as yeah. well. So yeah, they had five cars as well. Now they don't have the cars, they just have the 17 bikes. So hopefully the tourism can pick up and you yeah. can get more bikes and get back to where you started. Yeah, it's gonna be... No, a few years before this gets back to the way it was before Corona, like 2019, yeah. you know? Things were good then, right? Good, yeah. And then, bam, yeah. everything stopped. Stop. Two years, right? Yeah. No tourists. Uh, or no international tourists. Two, two years. Two and a half. Two and a half years, yeah. yeah. But you still had uh, people from Jakarta coming or? Jakarta. Yeah. A very but small amount, yeah, small, yeah, domestic yeah. tourists. Yeah. Ah, okay, but... Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, for today, only have Anmex. A what? Anmex. What is the this? Big oh, the big one. The big one? okay. Yeah, I'm not experienced with the big one. Oh. Yeah, I need like 125cc. Uh, uh, one moment, I will uh, one. Another friend. Ah, uh, okay, that's good. He's trying for me, he's trying. It's good. Good or bad? Yeah. Oh, no. Tomorrow I will come. Tomorrow I will take bike from you, right? If okay, you can use my motorbike. Your motorbike? Yeah. You want to give me? Yeah. 
I get this special price. Really, yeah? Huh? What uh, CC is it? This 110 CC. 110 CC, ah, okay. But if I take your bike, how are you going to get around? I have a bike here. Ah, you have two uh, for, bikes. For office, yeah. Oh, this is your office yeah. bike, and this is your personal, yeah, personal one. bike. Ah, okay. So you can rent me your your bike. Yeah. This one. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> document. Oh, this is the license. Yeah, uh, document of the. Oh, the uh, registration. Yeah, registration. Yeah. C C O C. Okay, this is the registration. Ah, okay, so this always stays in here. If yeah. police ask, yeah, this yeah. is where it is. Okay. Uh, petrol now one liter. One liter. Ah, okay. I need to fill. Yep. Where are you going, sir? Uh, Ubud. Ubud, you must go uh, full. I must go full. Ah, okay. where and on this street or another place to get uh, the fuel? The main road have the like the Pertamina big. Oh, the big ones, yeah. I can get it there. Ah, okay. Just put 20,000 is full. 20,000, it will be full. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, it's good. So that's like $1.50, it will fill the tank, which is pretty. It would have been even cheaper like a year or so ago before fuel prices were crazy, but it's still pretty decent. So, can I take until tomorrow evening? Tomorrow evening, just the. Um, Two days. Two days, yeah. yeah because uh, rental is until 24 hours. Okay, yeah, so I will take until tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, what time? Uh, I don't know, you're closing what time? We close around 8.30. 8.30, I will bring back before you close, because okay. I'm staying up there at Anmaya, Anmaya Resort. Anmaya. Anmaya, yeah, yeah Anmaya, yeah. yeah. So he's renting it to me for 70,000 per day, which is like, I think less than five dollars per day. So for two days I'm taking it, so 140. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, great, fantastic. Let's see. How did this get up uh, does it have a visor? Yeah, Oh okay, yeah, it has a visor, good. Yeah. Honda. Honda. Oh yeah, good yeah. fit. Yep. And it has the, old uh, vis the visor's a bit mucky. <laughs> <laughs> the visor's all scratched up and stuff. Yeah. Maybe I'll wear my sunglasses. I don't yeah. know. Okay, this is me. Yep. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow, sir. And um, your good name, sir? My name Adi. 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 Dale. Yeah, okay. Nice thank you so you. much for renting me your bike. Yep. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay, guys. Fantastic, on the way now to Ubud. About an hour and a half drive from here. And that guy didn't want any ID, didn't want a deposit or anything. He just took the money for the rental and that was it. Fantastic. So right now I am just navigating using the road signs. But at various points I'm gonna to have to stop and consult Google Maps. Unfortunately, there's nothing that I can use to attach my phone to the bike to follow the navigation on the map. So that's just the way I'm gonna to have to do it. There's these green signs. I'm just gonna follow them for now. That's taking me towards the airport, towards the Denpasar. That's the way I'm gonna cross to get to Ubud. So that's the way I'm going. Follow the signs for Kuta at Denpasar. Hey brother, can you make full please? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one. I don't know, you can choose. Hopefully you choose correct. Hopefully one's not diesel or something. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So 32, that's about two dollars or something to fill the tank. Good. Okay. So on we go guys. Towards the Ubud with a full tank of petrol. Enough to get me there and back for sure. about 
30 kilometers are finally on quieter roads. It's been pretty hectic with the traffic up until now. We've got about 15 kilometers left to go. Hopefully the roads are nice and quiet like this. Okay, I have stopped the bike. I seen a sign that said stop. There is pork right there. So I stopped and now I'm gonna get the pork. This is it here. Babi Gulung Dharma. It is the Babi Gulung Dharma. This one. Babi Gulung. This one, oh, okay. I think this must be it here. Oh, maybe it's the head. Maybe it's the head of the pig. Hello, I want Babi Gulung Dharma. Babi one, yes, please. Is this? This? Is this the head? 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 Is the head, no? No. No, okay, is this the meat? Ah, okay, one please. Okay. I'll find out what it is when I get it. Oh, I get with Nasi. With Nasi, yes? Yes. Ah, okay, I get with Nasi. Yeah. And I think it's, I think it's this, right? It's this? Yeah. Ah, okay, this one. This ah, okay. This is the meat. This is the meat. Ah, okay, it's not the head. Ah, it's just the meat. Ah, okay, yeah. good. And it's a uh, roast. Barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, it's barbecued. Okay, okay barbecued pig. That's what I'm getting. Some barbecued pork and rice. And maybe something to drink. Like a tea bottle or... What is this? It looks like it's made with tamarind. Hmm. I'll try this. This is beer or no? No, soft drink. Yeah, no. Yes, no beer, okay. I will try this one. I'll ask her to open it. I can have this as well. Yeah, I need it open. Okay. Oh, I got lots of stuff in here. This is. Oh, this for opening, okay, thank you. There's a lot of stuff in that tray. I know what's here. Yeah. There's a the rice and pork. And that looks like maybe some fried skin okay. or something. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of random stuff, thank you. Okay, let's taste this. I think it's gonna be tamarind, tamarind drink. Yeah, I don't know. I'd definitely rather be drinking a Coca-Cola right now. Uh, it says it's made with water, sugar, citric acid, and then something sari tem ul abak. I think that might be like a tamarind paste or something. So it's just like sugar, citric acid, and tamarind paste. It's in a Corona bottle though. Behind it, it's like stuck on. It's stuck onto a bottle of Corona. Hmm. Thank you. So this tastes like it's fermented. It tastes like almost like cider, like that. So yeah, I'm hoping it's not alcoholic because I don't drink alcohol. So even one bottle will be enough to, you know, get me very tipsy and I'm driving the motorbike. So this is what I've got here. My babi, this is the meat here. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've no idea what the other stuff is, but something fried here. That is just like, to me that just looks like, like pork skin or something, like pork scratchings. The same with this. And then, oh this is actually the skin here. And then we've got some black stuff. That's maybe like uh, organ, like liver or something like that. And that is definitely the white meat there. Some spicy sauce. Okay, I'll give that a go. It tastes exactly like pork scratchings. You know that pub snack we get in the UK, which is made from pork skin and bits of eyelids and stuff like that. So that's probably what this is. This is the actual skin though. The actual, oh, look at that. It's very crispy, I can feel it already. Oh, a layer of soft fat underneath it as well. 
<laughs> this is tasty. Mm. Yum yum. And this that I thought was probably going to be like liver or something. Because there's two types of meat. There's white meat and there's very dark meat. Mm. I can't really tell. It just tastes like meat. And then the actual white meat right there. Oh yeah. That is good, that is good. Like, I'm gonna mix in some of this sauce into the rice. Mm. Oh, very spicy and citrusy as well. It's like a citrusy, spicy sauce there. I'll mix all that in with the pork meat and get this demolished. This is really nice. I don't know what it is. I'm probably eating like pig's bum hole or something like that, but it's tasty. Big piece of crispy pork skin right there. Get in my belly. Mm. Mm. Your man clears the plate of this pork feast. Fantastic. I don't think I'm going to finish this though. This hammer and cider. I'm pretty sure this is alcoholic and yeah I'm about to get back on the bike so I'll just leave it at half a ball. Now, let's go and find out how much this costs. Hello Brapa. Do a pull of 25,000. 25, okay you said it very fast. I'm still learning the numbers. 25,000. Okay 25. Three Makassi. See you. Bye bye. Okay see you. Okay, lovely jubbly. Feeling good after that. That was a tasty treat, so it was. Pork, whatever it was. What was it called? Babi Gulung. Babi Gulung Dharma. Lovely jubbly. Now, let's get back on the bike and make our way to Ubud. The sign here says Sawa, the rice fields, Bukan Tempat Sampa, not the place for garbage. This is where I want to go, the monkey forest, Sangi monkey forest. Hi. Ticket here? Yes, okay. This uh, ticket for parking or ticket no, for, for entrance, forest? Entrance. For entrance. Ah, yes. Parking free. free oh, good. That's a good price. Yes, the yes, best yes. price. Free. Yes. 30,000. 30,000. Okay, yes. good. Also a good price. <laughs> yes. Good price uh, yes, for okay. all the people. Okay, no foreign price, right? Yes. That's the same no, for everyone. Same 30. Price, everyone. Okay, yeah. good. I like that style. Yeah. My regulation from our village. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, okay, yeah. good. I get ticket or I can just go in? You keep your ticket. I'm sorry. You didn't give me a ticket. ticket. You only give me change. No, oh, you give me a receipt. This? Yes. Oh, I thought this is receipt this for the money. Online. This is the ticket. Oh, I was about to throw this. I was about to throw this away. I thought this is like receipt, you know? Okay, good. This is a ticket. Okay, thank you, brother. Okay, so. This is not the main monkey forest, the one that's famous in Bali, where I've been before actually. The last time I was in Bali, it was kind of hectic. There was guides charging at you. There was monkeys charging at you. The monkeys were aggressive. I heard there's this other one that's quite close to it called Sangi Monkey Forest. That's a little bit smaller, but still decently sized. And the monkeys are friendlier. The guides are friendlier, so they said. I think we're about to get approached. I think this guy right here is about to approach me. Um, maybe I do need a guide to help me with the video and stuff, because if it's like the monkey forest I was at before, 
You can get the monkeys to like climb up on your shoulders and stuff. Like hold a peanut like this and he'll jump up on your shoulder. So maybe uh, maybe I'll get a guide to help help out with that stuff. I don't know. I think this guy behind me. The thing is I walk too fast so they can't keep up with me. So look at the wee monkeys here. Lovely. Hi brother, how are you? Good. He's gonna ask me any moment. Seems friendly enough though. You want to take photo with the monkey? Ah? Uh, take photo with the take monkey. Take photo with the monkey? Yeah. Ah, okay. You're a guide? Yeah, yeah. Over, over, over there. Ah, okay. You're a guide yeah. service? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Brapa. If you want. I, I oh, you have peanuts? Yeah. Oh, for feed the monkey? Yeah. I, I can make him go like this? Yeah, yeah. On my yeah. shoulder? Ah, okay. Uh, for you, uh, how much for you? I sell picture here, 50,000. You and sell picture? Yeah. Oh, you take photos? Yeah. I have my own camera. Yeah, I have your camera. Too. I have this camera. You can use my camera, yes? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And I pay you 50,000? Yeah. Okay, oh, you got this. What What do you do with this? What do you do with this? I just kid. Oh, is that to uh, make them go away? Yeah, go Ah, okay. Oh, hello. It's okay, it's okay. Hello, it's wee okay. man. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wee man. Okay. The wee man there. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> He's all over me. His feet. Oh, is this a baby? Yeah, with a baby. This with a baby. Where's the baby? Yeah, oh, baby. hello, baby. No, no, don't touch the monkey. Yeah, don't, don't touch the monkey. Okay. Oh, he's a strong one. Oh. <laughs> is that another one knocked him Hold off? Hand. Hold the hand. Yeah, okay. Another one knocked him off. Oh my god. Uh, like that. Up. Okay. Up your hand. Up my hand? Yeah, up. Up, up, up. Uh, like this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, good monkey. These are friendly monkeys, right? Yes. Yeah, they're nice monkeys. Yeah, nice monkey here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go, he just grabs the peanut. Mm -hmm. They love peanuts, right? Yeah, the peanut, oh, okay. banana, all protein. Peanuts and bananas. Yeah. There you go. How many monkeys here in the forest? More than 700. 700? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Definitely more monkeys than tourists. Mm. Oh, he's giving me a head massage. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, keep doing that. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> I'll get a nice head massage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This is good. This is better than the spas in Bali. It's like a, a good old head. Oh, now we get the shoulder massage. Oh, lovely. That's nice. <laughs> this is an adult one, yeah? This is a man or woman? The, 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 the woman. Woman? Oh, okay. It's uh, an adult woman. I can't see her because I can't turn my head. I just know she's a heavy. So I'm assuming it's an adult, not a baby one. A hungry woman. <laughs> Good. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, so the big ones, you make them go away? Yeah. Ah, okay, I see. Because he's probably too aggressive. If, if he's on my head, it's probably going to hurt. All right. So that's good. He can uh, attract the... Uh... Oh. oh! She just... Oh. <laughs> she just stuck her hand in my eye. The... Uh... Yeah, so... Oh, my God. So he's attracting the friendly ones and scaring off the aggressive ones. Hello. Hi. Good old head massage. Kamu dari mana? Dari sini. Dari sini, Bali. Dari Bali. Ah, they're from Bali. So, oh, <laughs> they're local tourists. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut. Peanut, okay. There you go. Wow. They love peanuts. No more, I don't have any. What's happening? Okay, you bend down with me. Okay, oh, I'm uh, uh, giving the monkey to the little girl. There you go, a present. I just gave you a monkey. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh. Tegak. <laughs> What a life these wee things have. All day, they just run around, 
jump on tourists and eat peanuts One monkey here. and sometimes bananas yeah. or monkeys here so 700 monkeys yeah. in this forest so they just keep breeding and breeding yeah uh, since uh, how many years this forest has been here this one that's a long time yeah this one this one oh there's all okay open your hand <laughs> okay <laughs> we were trying to feed this little one here the little baby and this big one just came running I oh, want the little one, he's so cute. This greedy one just came. He's got my finger. <laughs> I want the baby one. Yeah. Why are you being greedy, huh? Why are you being greedy? He must weigh, I think he weighs like maybe eight kilos, seven uh, or eight kilograms. Maybe four, four kilograms. Four kilograms, ah, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> I think it's just because he's on the edge of my hand. It feels yeah. really heavy. No, no, no. Don't go for the camera. Go for the peanuts. Go for the peanuts. Okay, that's good. Can I feed the little baby? Mm. Oh, no. The baby's too scared to take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. always the big ones come in. They're greedy, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 How to feed the small ones? Mm -hmm. The small ones are scared with the big ones. No, they're scared of the big ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know that. I think he knows that if he tries to take it, the big one will just like smack him out of the way. Yeah. Oh, oh what happened? One. Big one. A big one is scaring the medium one away. Good, good photo. Okay. It's a good photo, is it? <laughs> oh my word. So I tried to feed the small one. The med it was too scared of the medium one and then the big one came and scared the medium away. The big one has its big toe in my eye. <laughs> Get your big toe out of my eye. Oh, this one's so heavy. This one's definitely like eight kilos though. Just chilling on my shoulder. Are you enjoying that? Are you enjoying that? It's nice, is it? Get your hand away from my nose. Get your hand away from my nose. You need to bend down, please. I finish, I will bend down, yeah. okay. There we go, good. More, okay, more up, more up here. Ah, okay. So, do you know how many years? How many years this forest has been here? This is a long time, boy. More than three hundred years. More than three hundred years. Ah, and it's like a sacred in Hinduism, or mm. it's the oh, nearly stepped on. Yeah, oh, this is the mother with the baby. Oh, little baby. How many weeks old? Maybe uh, three weeks. Three weeks, ah, okay. She's very protective of the little baby. Yeah. Oh wow, there's loads of monkeys here. Big old family. There's another mother there. Different family. Different families, oh, yeah. they're all coming together. Yeah, in, in this forest they have three family. This one last, last family, this one. Over there, second, this last. Ah, so there's three main families, yeah, like clans. Yeah. Ah, okay, so they're like clans, like extended families. Mm. And the families, they stay together, yeah? Mm. Ah, what is he eating? I think some kind of fruit. Nice. Okay, small one. Look, see, I bet the big one comes and takes it. The big one's gonna come. <laughs> he just tried to jump and grab it and he missed. He got my finger. He got my fingertip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to give to the small one. Mm. I want to give to the small one, but this big this one's just coming. always looking. One. Coming. Good one. Good, A good, good one is coming. That is huge. That is massive. Oh, my God. That is, you're massive, mate. You're massive. You're absolutely massive. <laughs> I want to feed the small ones, it just seems impossible. Oh, this one stinks. This one's got a smelly bum. <laughs> this one, oh. more than six kilogram. How much? Six. Six kilogram? Well, he's way, he's like 16 kilograms. Six. He's so heavy. And this one stinks, he's so smelly. Yeah. Yeah, he's a smelly one. 
Do you nab? Yeah, I nab, I nab, I nab for this down. guy. So if I, oh, if I bend down. down. Yeah, then yeah, okay. 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 I think I've had enough, uh, yeah, enough, enough of the monkeys. Okay, yeah. so I'll pay you for the photography service. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can take 100, brother. Okay, okay tip okay. for you, okay? okay? Thank you. Queen. So now I can go walk around the temple? Yes, yes. I go this way and right? This way. Okay, your good name, sir? Oh, cool. See you next time. See you next time. Yeah, your yeah. name? Yeah, Toot. Toot? Okay, okay, thank you, Toot. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. okay, that was nice. Got lots of interaction with a monkey that I wouldn't have been able to get if I came here on my own. Even if I came with my own sack of peanuts or whatever. It would have been difficult to vlog and feed them at the same time because, you know, one hand's got the camera, I'd have like the bag of peanuts in one hand. What would happen? They'd just come and rip the bag off me and that would be it done. So, yeah, I'm gonna have a wee wander around this forest area. I think it's like, I can't remember. I think it said it was like 14 hectares or something like that. So, yeah, just walk around and say hi to the monkeys. Hey! What do? He thinks I have food? Yeah, no. You just walk. If I just walk? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, this guy came. So I think these guys help <laughs> to make sure that the tourists aren't getting attacked by monkeys like that one. Just came charging out of nowhere. Yeah, the problem is I've got the camera in my hand, so I can't just show them two hands too easily. Okay, a whole big group of them here. A whole clan of monkeys. Let's see if I can make it through without being attacked. So far they seem friendly. Stay away from the mother with a child. That's always a good idea with any animal, any mother with a child. Just stay out of their way. They get very protective. There's tons of them. This forest. That's good. They're more scared of me than I am of them. I think the more aggressive ones are out front, jumping on people. And the ones that just kind of want to be left alone are here, just chilling. You know, these ones seem a lot more timid. Okay, good. Here's the main temple here. I think it's a Hindu temple, but I can't really get any closer than that because they've shut the gate. But I'll jump up there and have a wee look. Yeah, looks like this isn't being used at the moment. As you can see, it's looking very derelict. The statues are all covered in moss and such like. I guess rather than this being a place of worship, it's more of a Tourist attraction, you know. This way you can go? Yes. Okay. Until the area, in the big tree. Ah, okay, the big tree? Yeah, and ah, okay. then go back again. Okay. Looks like there's a little trekking path down here so you can actually have a proper trek in this forest and I can hear down there some kind of waterfall so I'm gonna head down there I don't think many people oh yeah. damn it Fuck. I was gonna say I don't think many people come down here look at this it's all slippy and everything. The guy that was working there, he told me just go as far as the big tree, which I passed ages ago, before this path even started. I'm just curious as to what is down here. Looks like a nice trekking path. Or it did, until it started getting all slippery. Okay, I'm gonna be very, very careful as I make my way down to what I think is gonna be a river or a waterfall. Ah, yes, it's a river, guys. 
It is a big old river. Check this out. And we do get a bit of a waterfall as well, don't we? This is what's making everything all very slippery. I think going up will be easier than going down. Going down, you really have to watch where you place your feet. I think, uh, obviously, getting up all these steps, it's right to the top of that, is going to be a lot of um, hard work. It's just going to be less kind of having to be careful. Like I am right now, look how slippery everything is. Every step I have to be concentrating on. Ah, here we go guys, this right here, this beautiful scene was well worth the hike down those steps, the treacherous hike down those steps. Check this out guys, the river bend right here, there's a bit of a waterfall going on there and a beautiful scene isn't it? It'd be nice to have a wee swim, it'd be nice and refreshing but the water's looking a bit mucky to be honest, I don't know how safe it is to go uh, swimming in this. Anyway, on Google Maps, there is a waterfall. I can't see it from here, but on Google Maps, there is a waterfall. Apparently, if I drive from that car park up there for five minutes, I can reach it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna get back up there quickly because you know what I've done? I've left my bloody keys in the... How did I even get down here? I think it was this way. See, lots of people definitely... It wasn't even signposted, guys. So this isn't really something that people who come to this monkey forest are doing. I've went on a little side mission. So I have this way, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it was this way. I went on a little side mission. Yeah, I've um, I've left the keys in the motorbike. I was doing it the last time I had a motorbike. Actually, the last time I had the motorbike was also when I was in Indonesia, Lake Toba. And every place I went, I would just get my stuff out the seat and then forget about the keys that were in the ignition. So I've done it again. Thankfully, at this place, there's car parking attendants and stuff. I don't think they're just gonna let somebody drive off of my bike. But you never know, guys, you never know. So I'm quickly making my way back up these slippery steps to get back to my motorbike and secure it. There we go. That's better. Nice and clean after my little slip. Oh, nearly slipped again. Oh, what happened here? Oh, God, I have to wash myself again. <laughs> okay, oh, damn it, where did I put my feet? Here, okay, this one, and there you are, nice and clean. Just don't slip, and we're all good. Guys, let's get back to the bike. Oh, I wonder when I go past that guy that I went past half an hour ago who told me just go to the big tree and back. I wonder if he'll remember that it's been half an hour. I wonder if he'll look at me and see me dripping in sweat and be like, that guy's went out of bounds. So he has. Aye, I did, and I'm glad I did. We'll have a wee side quest. And we love our adventures. Look at this, they've got like potatoes or something. Oh wow, they've got sweet potatoes. A whole massive load of them. Oh, okay, he's telling me, go, okay, 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 okay. He's like growling at me. He's like, those are my sweet potatoes. Chasing me away. I like sweet potatoes as well, but I like them cooked, so he's nothing to worry about. I wasn't gonna steal any of the wee man's sweet potatoes. I guess that's why there's nobody here guarding the tourists from the monkeys because they're satisfied, they're being well fed, they're not trying to attack tourists for food. So, yeah guys, hopefully the bike is still there. We'll jump on it and go hunt for this waterfall. Ah, te bottle manis. Okay, brapa arganya. Brapa. Sepolo. Sepolo? Yeah. Okay. 10,000. 
Okay. Sepolo. I'm learning the numbers. Okay, 10,000 Sepolo. Terima kasih, makasi. Okay. I was, I thought I had the numbers learned and then I came to Bali where you don't really need to speak Indonesian. Before I was in Bandung and Jakarta and you kind of have to speak Indonesian but in Bali it's a tourist place isn't it so you can speak English and then you forget you're not forced to use the local language but yeah Sapolo, Rebo, Rapia, Motorbike Key you know oh you have it oh thank you so much every time I forget I am a good you take it out yeah are good oh, okay I'll give you a tip for uh, helping with the motorbike tea motorbike key hey for you brother for helping with yes. the key thank you good, brother good thank you good, so much you. i don't want to <laughs> lose my bike like i nearly did in lake toba so many times just leaving the key in the ignition Almost, guys, almost. Tank the Te Bottle. The whole bottle of Te Bottle. Right, let's get back on the bike. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you. I'm going to Pengenpu Waterfall. This way. This way. Okay, thank you, brother. And then left, thank you brother. Ah, uh, that is nice. We get a bit of a breeze, a bit of a cool breeze guys. A bit of a cool breeze, watch out for the obstacles. Especially if I'm driving one-handed, but we get a bit of a breeze as we fly through these roads. So it's already 4 p.m. guys. This waterfall is probably going to be the last thing that I do up here in Ubud before going back down to Nusa Dua. It gets dark here every day, 6 p.m. So yeah, not much daylight left. And then everything closing seems to be like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So this Erterjun, um, Pengumpi. So Erterjun means waterfall. So it's down this way. Yeah, um, this waterfall on the map, it doesn't have any kind of like opening hours or anything like that So I'm guessing it's probably not going to be one of these things where you have to pay to get in Like an entrance ticket or anything like that, it's just something that's in nature That's what I think anyway, we'll see Ah, here at Erterjun, in Genpu. Is this it? Yeah, it's down this path here, so I guess I can just park up here doesn't seem to be any parking attendant or anything like that, so I'll make sure to take my key this time. Okay, taking them with me. Ah, it's just a donations box at the waterfall, that's it. There's no ticket. And on this trek, we get proper steps and a handrail. A lot easier. You also get other people. The last one I went to was very difficult to get to, but when I got to the bottom, I got all to myself. That nice little river scene, I got all to myself, so that's it. Sometimes it's better to take the path least well trodden, because you, know, you get peace. So this for Altel June waterfall and this for tubing. So looks like it's like Bukit Luang where you can get in those rubber tubes and go float down the river. That might be fun, although my experience the last time wasn't exactly great. I want to embarrass myself again. And here we go guys, the waterfall, here it is. No, that's the mini waterfall. That's the real waterfall right there. Look at that, beautiful. This probably gets a lot nicer when there's more rain. This whole thing probably fills up. But uh, yeah, I was hoping 
there'd be some nice clear water and a pool that I could just take a wee dip in and get refreshed but yeah I'm definitely not going to be dipping in that stagnant water right there I wonder if I can get any closer to it looks like that somebody's maybe built a bridge is that a bridge I don't know otherwise I just have to take my socks and shoes off and wade in I think that's what these guys are going to do they're just in flip-flops okay guys I'm going to go for it I'm going to try and get a closer look at this thing it's going to require some wading and I watched those guys do it he said he's going to wait to see if I fall because it was very difficult for them to get over this bit here you can't see where you put your feet and there are deep bits and shallow bits so you kind of have to feel your way oh my word it's fairly steep see my feet aren't even planted and I have to kind of like slide off here with my bum okay oh yeah there are bits that are very deep and then there's like rocks so I have to kind of like step over the rocks they want to get going and go on a wee trail or something but he's been kind of like hanging around to try and see me fail okay let's see oh my god oh my word that is pretty deep okay we're knee deep we're knee deep in this no going back now okay this bit shallow okay hands are getting a bit mucky there we are oh that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad guys so we get rewarded for being adventurous we get rewarded with a close view of this beautiful oh my word look at this look at this garbage oh my god I did not expect to see all this junk lying here that is an absolute shame an absolute bloody shame I bet you don't see that on anybody's Instagram photos everybody's Instagram photos oh I came to Bali and this this well that's the bloody reality isn't it idiots throwing their junk absolutely ridiculous but still the waterfall is beautiful wow I don't know if it's safe to take a dip there or not guys I don't know Yeah, I considered taking a dip there. It's just, it's not going to be clean, especially with all this junk and everything. It's probably not safe at all to be swimming in that water. I'm pretty sure it would make me sick. So, yeah, I'm just going to head back. And, yeah, just very disappointing, isn't it? When you see somewhere beautiful covered in garbage. Just why, why? Why would anybody come to somewhere natural and beautiful? Like go to all the effort. You have to put in some effort to come to a place like this. Just to muck it up. Oh, but uh, yeah, I guess with that being a waterfall, maybe it's not people actually coming to the waterfall, like sitting there, drinking their tea bottle and chucking it in the, the waterfall. It's probably came from further up the river and it's just washed all the junk down. Yeah, and I guess with this this whole um, waterfall area, it's free to enter. It's not like uh, one of these ones where there's a ticket price and they look after it. So, yeah, sometimes it's good if they have a ticket price. You know, even just ten thousand. If you charge every person ten thousand rupiah, like sixty-seven cents, then you can just employ somebody whose job it is to clear up garbage all day, and then the place would be clean. But, unfortunately, that's not the way it is. Okay, guys. Got one last mission. Uh, one last mission, which is to get up here. And if I uh, achieve that, today will be a success. Assuming that I don't crash on the way back to Nusa Dua. Okay. Is it one big step? Or, hang on. Oh, my God, it's even deeper. Okay. Oh, how do I do this? Okay, I guess it's just going to have to be one big step. Come on. You don't understand, guys, how... Oh, there we go, one big step. How doing things... And you can see, like, I wasn't that confident I was gonna, wasn't going to slip. I've left all my gear in my shoes. 
yeah um i just got to oh not crash the bike on the way back to nosadura and it'll be a successful day just before sunset thankfully because I would not have liked to have driven on those crazy roads when it's dark it's difficult enough during daylight but hopefully my hotel's got some parking I don't have to leave this bike out in the street bro guest parking parking ah oh, I see thank you guest parking here Man's Hotel. Bah, there we go. Ah, your man is back in his comfy hotel room. Well, not hotel room, hotel balcony that I'm on right now, chilling. A well-deserved rest after, okay, not a big adventure, a wee adventure. It was just a wee adventure. I'd actually planned to do a lot more than I did today up in Ubud. I just ran out of time, didn't I? Usually I'm starting my days after midday and it gets dark here at six o'clock. So that means I've only got six hours worth of daylight. And then it's an hour and a half to Ubud and an hour and a half back. So that's three hours. Wasted about an hour sorting the bike out and everything. Finding the place and then, you know, he tried a few different other businesses before giving me his own bike, which is very nice of the guy. Um, yeah, so I only really had a couple of hours to explore up in Ubud. I think I'm going to change hotels to be maybe further up in that area because there's just a lot of interesting stuff there. And down here, not so much. It's just kind of... No, beach resorts and stuff, it's kind of boring for me. Just beach resort, restaurant, bar, spa. I like the spas, I like a good massage, but yeah, I'd rather be up in Ubud, I think. So at some point I'll be switching hotel. Anyway, um, feeling a bit hungry. I think I'm gonna head out to eat in one of these warungs, these small casual little restaurants that you find around where food is super cheap like where I ate the babi whatever it was the pork dish those kind of casual places where you know the food is like 25 20 30 like that rather than you know over 100 in the uh, tourist restaurants so it's 8 30 p.m. just now a lot of these places kind of close like 9 p.m. 9 30 10 so I'm gonna head out now and try and find one of these local places so far I've just been eating in the tourist Places, especially that Japanese restaurant is really nice the the one across the road uh, I've just been eating in those places so far but yeah I'm gonna head out and try and find something local aren't I this looks like my kind of place Warong Classic hello how are you what is the best thing? The good thing? Hello? Hello. What is the number one? Number one food? Maybe uh, you want uh, prawn? Prawn? Yeah. Ah, okay, prawn okay, with... Uh, prawn sauce tiram is good. Prawn sauce tiram. Ah, okay, with nasi or no? No, in the side rice, but uh, not include rice. Not include rice. Ah, but I should eat? Should eat with rice? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, I will take the prawn sauce, tiram, and nasi one, nasi putti. Take away or? Uh, I will eat here in your warung. Okay, yes. Don't. Okay, thank you. Can I watch uh, cooking? Can I yeah. watch cooking? Yeah. Take, take video cooking okay, or no? moment, yeah, we prepare, but huh? start cooking, you video. Oh, after you start cooking, you you tell me. Okay, okay. and okay, okay. saya menonton. Okay. Okay, saya menonton. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. I'm learning. Menonton. Watch. Watching. I just learned that word. Specifically before coming here. 
so that I could ask in case they didn't speak English. Onion. Ah, okay, onion starting with onion. Uh, garlic. Garlic. Sauce. Ah, there's peppers. Peppers, and salt, sugar, and The prawns. prawns. Nice. Yeah. So they already been cooked yeah. and now you're just frying them up with um, the mixture. Yeah. yeah. Tomato sauce, sauce tiram. This sauce tiram. Yeah, tiram is oyster. Yeah, right? oyster. O oyster sauce. Okay. I translated it with Google yeah. Translate, tiram. Uh, name, um, sal Soy sauce. Ah, sal sauce. Soy sauce. Ah. And then fish, uh, fish, oh, fish gravy. Oh, fish gravy. Ah, okay. Fish oil. Fish oil. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, it smells so nice. <laughs> and then a little bit sweet soya. Sweet soya, yeah. okay. So it's gonna be sweet and spicy. A little bit spicy, not spicy. And then maizena border. Maizena. Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know. What, what is it? Maizena. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Taste test. A good chef always tastes the food. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good. A little bit sweet. Yeah. Okay, that's always good. A little bit more sweet is good. <laughs> you like sweet? Yeah, I like sweet. Oh, lovely. And I will eat with nasi puti. Yeah, ready yes. for nasi puti. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for please. letting me watch you cook. <laughs> I'll try it. Please. This prawn sauce tiram. Prawns with oyster sauce. I'm gonna give my hands a wipe. I think I'm probably gonna have to handle these prawns because they're with the shell. They cook them with the shell, same like in Thailand, they cook the prawns with the shell. So it means you need to... I've got a Thai friend who can do it with a spoon and the fork, just separate the shell from the meat. But I can never do it myself, I need to use my hands, so... My hands are nice and clean anyway. Okay guys, I'll give the sauce a taste first. Oh yeah, definitely very sweet. A little bit spicy, mostly sweet and fishy. A fishy sweet sauce. I think it's going to be perfect with these prawns. Let me uh, rip the shell off one of them. I'm going to need tissues. I'm going to get a mess. Can I take these tissues from the table? How to take the shell off the prawn? You can show me how to take it. Yeah. With the hands, hands. Okay. Just pull. Okay, she's saying just pull it off, just rip it off. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's the tail bit, but then you've got the other bit as well that needs ripped off. Let's see if I can do this without making too much of a mess. Okay. Okay, got it. The beautiful prawn right there. Oh yeah, lovely. I think I'm gonna unpeel all the prawns and I can dump the rice on the plate and just munch it, you know? Because doing it this way is gonna be a bit slow. So I've got two, four, six, eight. Oh, well, she gave me 10 prawns, which is a, a decent portion. I don't know how much it costs, but 10 prawns is a decent portion. I'm gonna rip the, the shells off all of them first. My method is being to rip the tail bit off that exposes one part of the meat and then just peel off the bit from the body like this, leaving you with the beautiful prawn meat. There is still a bit of shell on that. Practice makes perfect, guys. By the last one, I'll have it down pat, so I will. I'll have the technique mastered. Tail ripped off, shell on the body peeled off. Ok, 
Okay guys, that is them de-shelled. I wish I could say that I mastered the technique. I didn't, but uh, the hard work has been done. Now I'm just gonna dump the rice on the plate and start munching it. Lovely jubbly. Mm. The sauce is perfect. She asked me how spicy I wanted it, and I said, you know, a little bit. And it is just a little bit spicy, which is perfect for me. There's a bit of a kick to it, but it's mostly sweet and fishy. Lovely. Mm. The rice is lovely with all the sauce soaked into it. Mm. Loading up the last spoonful. Bottle mm. nasi puti and prawn sauce tiram. Mm. 62. Okay, you can keep the change, okay? Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye. See you. Okay, that was lovely. See you. Yum yum, guys. Your man is feeling satisfied right now as i walked down that street that had all those casual little restaurants the warungs i was about 90 percent sure i was going to eat nasi goreng as per usual but in this one she had all the food up on the signs loads of variety i thought i'd ask her you know which one do you recommend always a good idea always a good idea to ask the chef or the owner which one is the best seller or the favourite or something like that and yeah I got to try something I haven't tried before it's just always good when you're travelling new experiences isn't it anyway guys that is your man for tonight just got to avoid a few obstacles on the walk home and uh, it'll be another successful day won't it and another successful adventure as well this is my hotel right here See, we're just round the corner from these fancy hotels. Just round the corner from these fancy hotels, you can uh, find the local food as well. Brilliant. See you on the next adventure, guys. See you on the next one.